everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm Kathleen and I'm here with my new friend, Alma Kamal. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Everyone in the chat to give her a warm welcome because this is your first time streaming. Mm -hmm. So make sure to make a warm welcome, give good encouragement and get ready to learn some stuff because we were talking earlier and Alma told me that editorial design is the passion, the passion of your life. So get ready. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. But before we jump into your project, I want to let you know, chat, that we are here pretty much every Tuesday through Thursday with some Friday streams as well. This week, we're focusing on editorial design. Hopefully, you've been with us all day watching all of the amazing designers. But if not, come back tomorrow. Um, we will be doing it all over again and Thursday as well. So if you are new, in about 30 minutes, we're going to be doing our chat and win. Um, our chat and win, which is giving away two amazing pieces of InDesign swag. We're going to be doing the O-Crop pin. Maybe we can show the GoPro so we can get a close-up of this beauty. I'll do a nice Vanna White. So we got this O-Crop pin, perfect for your lapel, and an InDesign sticker, perfect for your laptop, perhaps, perhaps. Almost. Who knows? Sorry, I just like punched your computer <laughs> Bop, okay. and it dies and we have to end the stream. <laughs> uh, so that'll be in about 30 minutes and then in about an hour and a half. So at 4.30, we are going to be hitting our deadline for the challenge today. The challenge today is to create a business card design using one of the new 665 fonts available on Typekit thanks to Monotype, which is an awesome font foundry. Uh, there's a blog post about it if you are interested. And there are also some new features coming to InDesign and Illustrator where you will have access to over 9,000 fonts within your programs. Crazy. So yes, 9,000 fonts coming soon within your app with live previews. Pretty amazing. Check out the blog.adobe.com for more info on that. All right, so 30 minutes we're gonna be doing the giveaway. Hour and a half, we're gonna be looking at our business cards. And you can see the schedule behind us. We had Sunny, Marta, Puya, and now we have Alma finishing out the day. David, I didn't say 9,000, I said over 9,000. Over 9,000 fonts. Cool, so that's enough about me and all my info. What about you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? I don't know. Let's answer it right now. <laughs> So, hi guys, uh, thank you for joining the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Alma. Uh, I used to live in Dubai before uh, coming here. I've been here for four years. Uh, I came here to do my uh, MFA in graphic design. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm a fellow at Chronicle Books. So cool. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Awesome, so you work in the actual publishing industry. So you know a lot about paper and Hopefully. words <laughs> and the combination of the two. You're like, hopefully. <laughs> I think so. We can see your work behind <laughs> us, and it's, uh, it's a good evidence that you know what you're doing. Uh, so if people want to check out your work online, what's the best way for them to find you? Um, I think Behance is my most updated uh, Perfect. platform, so maybe I guess. You can show my screen. Awesome. So you can find her. She has Alma slash K and all kinds of good stuff. There you go. <laughs> What school, Heidi wants to know, did you get your MFA from? Uh, Academy of Art University. Nice. Is that local? Uh, yeah. Cool. Very nice. So yes, there's the link. Thank you, Voodoo Val, for sending that over. And you are passionate about editorial design. So what are you going to be working on for the next three days? So uh, I'm going to make a zine about yes. cats. What's better than that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I mean, we're all obsessed with them, so might as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so, <laughs> as I said, uh, my project is going to be about cats, uh, why we spend hours watching uh, cat videos, what cats would say if they could talk, um, cats and paintings, Ooh, cute cat pictures. I mean, yeah, you're hitting all of the like hard questions of our generation. <laughs> I know, What's right? up with the cats? <laughs> uh, cool. Um, so we'll start today with, um, I'll go through the brief again very quickly mm -hmm. uh, in my mood board. We'll set up the document, uh, paragraph styles, and try to uh, design three to four spreads. Cool. And that's it for today. Nice. Oh no, Anita says dogs, dogs, dogs. 
<laughs> no, Bruno says, cats, cats, cats. It's the fight to end all fights. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any cats? Are you like a cat person? I don't have anything, but I love don't everything. don't have anything, but you love everything. <laughs> OK. Cool. You're open to uh, respecting and appreciating all forms of life. Mm -hmm. They're all the best. I'm equally dog and cat. I just love, love them all. They're all good boys and good girls and good animals. <laughs> cool, so let's jump in and just see what you got cooking for us. Okay, cool. Um, I use a lot of shortcuts while working. Yes, so tell us about them. I guess I'll just like talk as I mm -hmm. design. So command new is for a new document. Okay, command N. Actually, let's go back to um, the file that I created first. Perfect. Oh, Kevin likes lizards. Okay, <laughs> the bearded dragons are pretty cool. Okay, so as I said, the format is gonna be zine. Uh, size, we're going for seven and a half by 10 and a half inches. Okay. Uh, pages is 20 pages self cover, meaning that the cover is gonna be a part of the magazine oh. and not, not a separate cover, like a hard cover, for example, okay. or designed separately. Gotcha. Uh, color is four by four, which means CMYK. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Um, so usually the way uh, the printer prints is like uh, four different layers on top of each other mm -hmm. to get the colors you want. Yeah. Um, and there are so many options. You can go four by four. You can go like black and something. So duotone, mm -hmm. like uh, two colors. Or for example, you can go for a spot color, which is a Pantone color. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pantone is like a very specific color. Yeah and you get the same exact color wherever you right. go around the world. You gotta get those Pantone books, compare all the different colors, mm -hmm. pick the perfect one, nice. Uh, and the difference between the CMYK and Pantone is CMYK, if you look very closely, you see like the dots. Uh, yeah. But mm -hmm. Pantone is just like a like a Ooh. solid color. Gotcha, so it's not the layers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Uh, and the paper, uh, I know that we won't be uh, printing over here, but I, I thought about the paper as well. I love using Mohawk paper, uh, super fine, smooth, and it's gonna be 60T, which means it's gonna be very, very uh, thin paper. Gotcha, what do you like about the Mohawk paper? The feel. Okay. And when you print on it, it, it has like a very, like it gives character. Mm -hmm. um, so it gives it like, like a really nice personality. So you could have like a very bad design and then you print on one. You're like, wow, nice. look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and Kevin is noting that a lot of people don't know about the print process. So this is really interesting to know and you literally work for a publisher. So you have to know all of this yeah. to send it to be printed. And it's actually really funny because I had eight years of education in graphic design, mm -hmm. but none of them taught us anything about the, the printing process. Whoa! Yeah, so like wh whatever I know, I know from past experience, like mm -hmm. from working somewhere. Yeah. Like. Cool, so share the info, please, because I think that is a very underserved topic yeah. that we need to know about. And uh, if you guys have any specific questions, you can ask. Mm -hmm. And so um, here's the content uh, that I'll be working with. Uh, okay. Brief history on cats. Uh, a few articles, uh, things cat would say if they could speak, uh, <laughs> cute cat pictures, and cat facts. I love how cute cat pictures is like its own <laughs> segment. We need it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and I have some name naming options for the zine, if you guys can help me with that. Please, um, yes. Catomaniacs. <laughs> cool. Cat zine. Mm -hmm. Love cats. Aww. Paws. <laughs> Kitten news or feline zine. Ooh. Cool, I like paws because it's like Jaws. I it, know, right? It was just Shark Week, so can it be Cat Week now? Yeah, sure, let's Please? let's go for it. <laughs> All right, chat, let us know if you have any, or bring your best cat puns mm -hmm. for your titles, and maybe we'll pick one of yours. Sure. Just trying to make it short, because yes. I'll be using it on the cover. Okay, good, that's a good rule to have. And uh, Christina says, print nerds represent. <laughs> yes, bring all the print power. Uh, Jeremiah says, feline zine or feline zine is awesome. Rob says, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, with a nice like hyphen or slash in the middle, that might be a cool graphic look. Mm -hmm. Pause for thought. Oh, perfection. 
<laughs> Keep them coming. I like it. That's funny. Oh, nice. Uh, so this is a very quick uh, mood board that I uh, came up with uh, for this project. Nice. And I chose a lot of um, uh, magazines that are using elements from the internet. So oh. kind of like, you know, the boxes and yeah. the overlaying of the... Mm -hmm, like windows. Yeah, the windows. Um, and as you can see, there's the typography is pretty um, strong here. Right. Um, I also thought about uh, binding. Okay. So I was thinking I would use a rubber band like this. Oh, wait, which one is that? This one? Can you see it? Mm -mm. Oh, I see now. Oh, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Yee, it's broken. Oh no, it flipped. Maybe okay. Command Z. Go back, go back. I know. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh, well, it's okay. We get the picture. Yeah, you, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, of course, the binding uh, changes the way you design things. Okay. So for this kind of binding, I would have to uh, design things as spreads, and I would have to print them as spreads as mm -hmm. well which means e each uh, four pages get printed on one piece of paper. Oh, okay, like front and back. Yeah. Okay. So uh, spread and then spread. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you print, it's not like one, two, three, four. It, it actually like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. So that it fixes the order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Sorry for the flipping. <laughs> it's okay, we get the picture. <laughs> get the picture. Uh, and these are the two color options that I was thinking I about. I love those. Which one's your favorite? Ooh, They're okay. very similar. So. Yeah, I have a favorite. Okay. Maybe chat can let us know theirs. Top or bottom? One or two? Let us know. Because in one of them, it has the navy blue as the pop color. Mm -hmm. And then the other has that kind of lime green. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite? I like them both, mm -hmm. That's but the I problem. think I think if I go with the top one, then I wouldn't be using black. I'd be using the the blue mm -hmm. for text. Oh yeah, the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. Uh, top, 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 all for top. Okay, <laughs> okay. I guess you're using blue as your black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I like that. A very decisive crowd we have with us today. I know. Okay, so. Back to InDesign, mm -hmm. Command N for a new document. Perf. And as we said, what did I say? I think seven and a half by 10 and a half. Yeah. And is that a usual paper size? It's not. No? No. Okay. But I always like consciously go for unusual. <laughs> Just gotta make it harder for your printer. <laughs> <laughs> and also because it stands out. Yeah, that's true. So is it, Seven and a half by ten and a half, is that just one half of it, or is that the entire spread and then you're going to fold it? It's one half. Okay. So it's gotcha. a single page size. Gotcha. And then it'll be doubled for the whole spread. Mm -hmm. I see. So seven and a half by ten and a half. Perfect. And usually for bleed, um, printers in general ask for, I think that's a quarter of an inch, which is a 0.125 mm -hmm. for all sides. And click OK. Magic. What? Whoa. <laughs> OK. No, 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 no. Oh, not 75. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, InDesign is throwing the first curveball of the day. I know. Please don't <laughs> do this to me. No, no thank you. <laughs> OK, and now we go to the master's page, and we have to decide our margins. Ah, OK. So uh, there are so many different ways to go. Uh, some people, and, and also it depends on the content. So if you're going for something traditional, then you might want equal uh, spaces on all, all sides. Yeah. Uh, personally, I prefer non-equal on all sides. Yeah. Because again, it's something that's different mm -hmm. and asymmetrical, which draws the eye more. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Um, so we go to layout, uh, margins and columns. And I'm gonna break it over here so I can choose different ones for all cool. of it. So they're not linked anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we can try for a quarter. And the bottom is usually like really nice for the eye if it's like a big. Uh, yeah. So that if the uh, content is heavy on top, you still have that breathing space. Mm -hmm. uh, inside, since this is gonna be. Um, the, because of the binding that I picked, 
So it's, it doesn't need a big margin. Right. Because it's not going to be, like, for example, for perfect binding, which is like you glue all the pages together, mm -hmm. uh, you need a much bigger margin gotcha. so that when you open the page, mm -hmm. some stuff disappears yeah, inside. into the gutter. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe 25 is enough. Cool. Yeah, it could just go all the way. That's great. And uh, half an inch for outside. And we click OK. Cool. As for the, the, the grid, Again, there are so many kinds of grid. Yes. Uh, uh, the most basic ones are manuscript grid, uh, unit grid, column grid, and baseline grid. Mm -hmm. So I'm refreshing all my information. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so I only know about the baseline grid, so you've got more info than I do already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the column grid is just what it's called. It's a few columns. Uh -huh. Uh, manuscript grid is for like you uh, basically you see how like this red area yep so I would make it as much as I want the text to be uh -huh. and that would be my manuscript okay uh, and unit grid is not just columns it's rows as well oh so whatever is aligned it's aligned uh, vertically and horizontally mm -hmm. But of course, each one of them has like a specific use. And for this uh, simple task, we will go with a column grid. OK. And the column grid, I mean, the width of the column gets decided by the text. Gotcha. So I'm going to, these are my articles. Nice. And are you working on the first page right now or the, the cover? Right now, I still haven't done anything. I'm just nah. uh, deciding on my grid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm like that annoying student that's like, um, teacher, hello, and more questions. I know, I sound like a teacher. I <laughs> know, it's good. That is the whole point of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've already decided before coming here that I want to work with uh, two typefaces. Hmm. One of them is called Minister, which is a serif. And it's a gorgeous typeface. Let's see that. It looks nice. I don't know if you can see it because my oh. screen is very small. Mm -hmm. And um, so the leading is is three to four points uh, above the text size. Oh. So if my text is eight, my leading would be 11 or 12, depending on the typeface. It's different for every typeface. I did not know that that's cool <laughs> <laughs> and again the width of the the text is also um so you, you have to do it in a way that you don't get a weird drag mm -hmm. but at the same time i think the rule is there shouldn't be more than 12 words in the oh in, in each the line, line. Okay. yeah so eight, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, <gasps> i think that's perfect that's perfect yeah wow i'm impressed Mm. We have some names still coming in. People like cat a log, like catalog. Oh, that's cool. a good one. Uh, caterpillar, that's a funny word. I don't know if it's much of a title. I know. <laughs> Cats with a Z. <laughs> so we go back to margins and columns. Um, so I can decide how many columns I want. Oh, five, an odd number. <laughs> Brave. Let's see if I can go more. Yeah. Seven so see, another. it's like <laughs> as close. Yeah. OK, I see. Mm -hmm. So it matches right at the edge. Yep. And now we can go to, um, so Option Command P takes you to the document setup. Hmm. And I can decide how many, I already said I want 20 pages, so 20 pages. Boom. And we can start over here because the first two pages are going to be for the cover. Okay. Uh, front and back. Mm -hmm. And so now I want to uh, set, ooh, set up my uh, paragraph styles. So paragraph styles, new one. Let's see, body text. Cool. So this is what you'll use just for your normal copy. Mm -hmm. No headers, no subheaders, et cetera, et cetera. Et 
Ex I feel like there's a cat in there somewhere. Cat cetera. Ex. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> I thought it was there. Chat, help me out. Help me out. So what I'm doing right now is like all the typesetting of this uh, the body text. Mm -hmm. So space after is, for example, once you're done with a paragraph, it jumps to another space. So I want there to be ah. a space there, uh -huh. and the space after is always half the leading. Okay, that's good to know. Is that a lot of information? Or? Yes, it's just a lot of specific stuff that, as someone who doesn't know any rules, it's helpful to know. <laughs> no one day. And we can hyphenate, but we have to give uh, specific uh, rules for hyphenation. Otherwise, it's going to be too much and right. all over the place. Yeah, I feel like a lot of designers are either like no hyphenation, some say sometimes. So you're one of those sometimes hyphenation mm -hmm. kind of people. So like, for example, you only hyphenate words with at least six letters. OK. And you only hyphenate after the first three letters. Otherwise, it will be very weird. If yeah. You like Right. I always heard, or my thought was, you only hyphenate for words that are multi-syllable or syllabic, so more than one syllable. What are syllables? Like, Alma has two syllables. Oh, okay. Kathleen also has two. Mm. But I guess if we tried to hyphenate your name, it would be like A-L. I know, Another right? Another line, M-A. <laughs> 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 What's up, Esther? She says, hi, Kathleen and Alma. Hello. How you doing? Thanks for joining us, a fellow graphic designer in the chat. And chat, let us know uh, what you would call yourself. Are you a graphic designer? Are you a creative hobbyist? Are you Rabzilla? I see you in the chat, Rabzilla. What do you call yourself? Designer? Yeah. Creative? Designer. <laughs> that kind of covers all your bases. <laughs> I would also say designer for myself, but it feels a little bit like I'm an imposter when I say that. How cool. Like I'm really an illustrator. Are I, you? Oh yeah, definitely. But I can do other things. Rob calls himself a design illustrator. Does illustrator? <laughs> That's interesting. Val calls herself Empress Valpatine. <laughs> okay, Val. I see where you're going there. Jason is a graphic sufferer. Anita is a plant destroyer. <laughs> Esther is a freelance graphic designer and sometimes illustrator. Nice. I think I'm gonna go with the same typeface for header just because it has so much personality. It and does. When you go bigger, it, it'll be awesome. Yeah, it really works well as, was, whoa. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> I, I ruined what you were about to say uh, there. Well, eat my words. <laughs> it's awesome in the true sense of the word. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a little bit too big. But it's a zine. I know, but I mean, you want. then I don't have space. That's for true. The for the good, good stories. Yeah. <laughs> for now, we can do this and see how it goes. Okay. Oh, and a uh, story is for optical alignment. Okay. So if you have, for example, uh, is it a hyphen? Yeah, uh, no, yeah, a hyphen or a comma or a, uh, any of those on the side, mm -hmm. you want those to go outside of the text box. Oh, like a hanging yeah. indent or whatever, hanging quotes. Yeah. Yes, I exactly. literally learned what that was yesterday. Oh, cool. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Adobe teaching me things. So this is for the title. Ooh, Karsten says copycat would be a good name because it's like te text is copy. That's copycat. awesome. I mm -hmm. think I would go with that. Yeah, and also the history of zines, like they were made on, on copy machines, on Xerox machines. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there, Karsten. I like it. So what mm -hmm. I actually usually do before I start designing anything is I design the margins. Right. Because that's my favorite oh. part of the whole thing. Why is that? Because it's kind of like a frame, you know? Uh-huh. 
like once you have an interesting frame and then it ki it kind of sets the rules for everything mm -hmm. inside like within within the thing yeah so do you've already set up the margins though yeah. right with the different sizes on each side so i will go with copycat oh cool wait who said copycat first uh karsten nice congrats <laughs> you've been chosen <laughs> oops what happened <laughs> And then issue one. And then page numbers. Cool, so this will be at the bottom of everything? Uh, no, I'm just uh, putting whatever text I want right now and then I'm, I'm gonna design it. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone now and <laughs> let you do it <laughs> without bothering you. No, it's okay. Uh, it's my job to bother Alma. <laughs> but I will do my job and say that we have three minutes until our chat and win. And we have frozen on the monitor. But I think we have three minutes until our chat and win. Uh, if you are just tuning in, we like to do this about 30 minutes into our sessions. We have a, an awesome, in, I almost said Instagram, InDesign sticker and Ocrop pin that we're going to be giving away to one lucky viewer who is logged in on Behance and is active in chat when we say go. So in about three minutes, we'll ask you a question. And if you answer, you will be entered to win. And then in about an hour, that means we have our deadline for our challenge today, which is to make a business card. Um, there are over 600 new fonts available to you thanks to Monotype on Typekit. So there's a link to find all of those texts and you will use them in your business card. There are also some new features coming soon to InDesign and Illustrator where you'll be able to have over 9,000, power level over 9,000 fonts within your InDesign and Illustrator applications. So no more going to Typekit, just have to go search.